Welcome back, everybody, to Seven Days to Die. I'm an old guy gaming, and this is the Snow Bomb Survival Series, where we play seven days on insane difficulty. These lines are all set the nightmare speed, and we play on a map that's made up almost entirely of the snow biome generated by the Nitrogen World Generator. Welcome back. I already said that, didn't I? <laughs> <laughs> um, for those of you who are watching for the very first time, we do have a very small um, desert bomb in the center of the map that we use only for oil shale. We do not get any other resources, nor do we live in the desert. We just use it for an oil shale uh, supply. All right, so a couple things you guys updated on. I've done some stuff off camera, as you can see here. I went ahead and mined out um, the first two, th two or three blocks of resources in this little pocket here. Uh, we started off with lead. We ran into a tiny bit of iron right in this area, but we've got a pretty large, um, uh, what's this called? Nitrate. Yeah, <laughs> a nitrate deposit over here. So um, really nice for resources. I also went outside <clears throat> um, earlier and mined up a bunch of coal too so that we could get uh, more gunpowder going. So right now, in terms of gunpowder, I've got um, two... Uh, thousand stack bulk stacks here plus another you know 1742 plus another I think two or three more bulk stacks still cooking up in the Kim bench at the trader so uh, I put this little support in here just because I don't want anything to collapse of course opening up this much area and as you can see I have also built myself a workbench and a forge and the forge I went ahead and, and bit the bullet and took that point in um in advanced engineering because again i just don't want to count on rng for finding that stuff a lot of times i will have found the schematics for a lot of these things by now but i haven't i mean we are in episode over over 20 episodes now and i still have not uh, found that and so we're not going to rely upon rng anymore for that stuff now again not a big deal in the long run because at some point when we get more into the mid uh, game and so uh, we'll be able to respec and redo our points and we almost certainly will do that so uh not you know i, I i'm just not too worried about it right now it, it wouldn't it might you know it might have made sense for us to hold out until about now you know because we could have found the schematic but since we haven't we need to move forward all right so I've, i i brought my anvil crucible and advanced bellows over from the trader's forge and i've basically um crafted everything all of the materials except for clay out of that forge so i have a nice little supply of steel here as you can see uh, almost 200 ingots as a matter of fact and one of the first things we're going to do with that steel is we're going to make ourselves a an axe a steel fire axe because i already have a steel pick and i have a steel shovel that we found um, but I'm still using the iron fire axe and so I'd like to get that upgraded to steel as well So uh, let's go ahead and do that now. Uh, we're, we need seven parts and we're gonna need uh, What else are we gonna need? We're gonna need duct tape and leather and I think wood Does that give us everything we need? Yes, it does. Okay, so we got to do that of course here in the The workbench, so let's get that cooking up All right, cool now, the other thing I was thinking about maybe doing is a sledge, but the, you know what, though? I don't have seven steel sledgehammer parts now that I think about it. I have one. <laughs> okay. Well, we won't be doing that anytime soon then. We'll have to be on the lookout for those uh, sledgehammer parts. So that takes care of that. Now, it is uh, getting close. Uh, tomorrow is Horde uh, 21, and so... I, I, have, I haven't yet figured out what I'm going to do for Horde 21, but we are going to fight the Horde. So we'll figure something out. I have a, a general idea, but I'm not going to share that with you yet until I kind of flesh that out a little bit more. So uh, I will be working, you know, towards fighting the horde, though, on the next day. In addition to that, we have, um, for quests, we have uh, a fetch and clear that I took uh, from the trader. It's quite a ways away, but we have a motorcycle now, so we're not super worried about that. And we also have, you know, uh, uh, Stefan's treasure map, but that's way up north, so we're not going to worry about that right now either. Trader Joel's is a closing soon. All right, so I think that pretty much updates you on where we're at. Now, I would also like to get um, a cement mixer going, and we actually probably could do that right now. Do we have, yeah, we have an extra engine. Uh, let's see, that said it needed springs and iron... Uh, and mechanical parts. Um, mechanical parts right here. Okay, yeah. So let's get a let's get a cement mixer going too, and I'm gonna be on the lookout for a 
Do we have enough stuff to make two of those? Um, what are we short on? We're short on forged iron. I have another engine. So, yeah, let's, let's actually make two of those just so we can, you know, double our production. I usually make, try and make two of those when, you know, when I have that. So let's uh, turn this all into forged iron. We're going to keep pumping clay in there. And then I'm going, I, I'm going to take this lead and we're going to make some more ammunition. So I'd like to make a little bit more buckshot. Buckshot. So let's see, we can make a total of 445, but we don't need that much. Let's just make a hundred. Let's make a hundred buckshot and then we'll turn all the rest of that lead into bullet tips. Perfect. Okay, so the cement mixer. Um, oh, you know what? Actually, I guess it only requires 25. I was reading that bass backwards. So all we need is another engine, which we have here. Okay, cool. So now we have two cement mixers going. Here is our steel axe, which is beautiful. Let's take the um, the uh, mods off of here. Oh, you know what? We can only put one mod on there, though. But it's still quite a bit better, though. I mean, it's like um, 45 points better in block damage than the iron. So even with mods, this still isn't going to be as good as this. So obviously, since it's an axe, this is the... Whoops. Shit. Stop that. Uh, since this is an axe, we want to put that modifier on it, and then uh, the other one is really more for, you know, for uh, using as a weapon, which we generally don't do with our axe. So we're good to go. All right, let's put that back in there. We'll put this stuff back in here. This is probably worth fixing up and selling. Um, so we'll do that, and we should get... How much will we get? Yeah, we'll get almost 400 coin for that, so definitely worth fixing up and selling. Now, I do need to get some more wood. I'm kind of low, uh, so we're going to do that. I'm going to work on that. And I'm also going to... Um, let me let me think about something. So we got a full stack of 762s. We're, I'd like it to have a few more 9s. So let's grab... Oh, you know what? Though? We don't have any bullet tips yet. Okay, well, you know what? We have enough ammo. We have enough ammo for now. I'll just keep working on, you know, on that off camera, though, as we go along. So I think what we're going to do is we're going to go out and um, I'm trying to decide. Do I want to work on a quest or do I want to see if we can find a beaker so we can also get a Kim binge in here? Because, yeah, you know, the trader has all this stuff, but the problem with it, obviously, is I have to go there to do stuff and go there to get stuff, and I'm, you know, locked out at nighttime. So it's just a pain in the ass. All of these workstations and so forth that we're setting up right now, we can pick up with a land claim block and take with us when we move to the central city, which is coming up pretty soon. I'm not planning on staying in this area too much longer. Um, probably, in fact, we'll probably move right after the Horde Night. That is the tentative plan at this point in time. So, um, let's just put this... Uh, let's put this in here. And I'm just going to put my coin in here for now, too. Uh, and that's, you know, we'll, we'll sell that later. So I still have a decent supply of nitrate and coal, even after all of the gunpowder that we're making. So we're in great shape with that, too. I think... What we're going to do, see, we're going to, we have to go to the barn to do that quest. So the chances of us finding a beaker in that barn are almost nil. <laughs> um, so maybe what we do is we find a pop and pills. Um, I have to, I, I know I've seen some. I haven't, I, I don't know if I remember exactly where they are. I'd have to look around a little bit. Find a pop and pills and see if we can get ourselves a beaker so that we can make a Kim bench. So I think that's what we're going to do. So I'm going to go, um, I'm going to cut the camera here, guys, and I'm going to just go out and look around for a pop and pills. And when I find one, I'll bring you back at that point, and we will uh, go in there and see if we can find ourselves a beaker. All right, so I'll be back in just a bit. All right, guys, uh, we actually found a pop and pills. Didn't take me too terribly long uh, to find this place. Uh, we just got to get the Larrys out of the way. Come on, you bastards. Okay, so if we stop right here, do we just have that one Larry to contend with? Alright, are we clear? Let's see if we can get somebody's attention from the inside without getting ganked from behind. 
Okay. So which door are you going to come to? Okay, you're doing the door and the window. That's cheating. It's not allowed. Oh, shit. Don't get anybody else's attention. See, I, I'm... I have to... I'm fighting on multiple fronts here is the problem. And I hear a spider, too. All right, it's kind of hot. Let's go. Is it just you that's coming, homie? I heard a spider. I don't know if the spider is inside. Whoa. Oh, there he is right there. Yeah. Come on, spider. Let's get that patched up. That's a big mama. There. There's an Edgar, I think, over that way. All right, here's what we're going to do. I'm just going to put a door in here because I don't want to block myself in here in case... If it's just big mama and maybe one other normal zombie, I'm not too worried, but we get rushed by... Something more substantial. I want to be able to get the hell out of here quickly. Okay, so we'll put that there and we'll upgrade it. One level. Let's wake the dead here and see if... It, we only have to worry about her. Okay, no, there is a cop. <laughs> Yowzers. All right. Well, you know what we could do is try and sneak attack the cop and get him out of the way first because he's way more dangerous than Big Mama. Okay, I don't see anybody else in the front room. Just those two, I think. Let's look up above on the shelves because sometimes you can see them up there. All right, let's go blow this cop up first, and then we'll deal with Big Mama. I want to get the sneak attack, so we have to get close enough for the shotgun to be effective, but not so close we're going to wake his ass up. That's probably about as close as I want to get. Oh, that went beautifully. We found it. All right, cool, cool, cool. So we now have the ability to make ourselves a uh, Kimbitch when we get back home. Let's go ahead and finish out the place though, since we're here.
Wouldn't you know it? Wouldn't you know? We find the stupid Ford schematic a couple of hours after we took the point to make it. Oh, RNG, I hate you. <laughs> oh, well, that's the way it goes. Um, let's, uh, let's just, let's just use it. Get the XP. It's not very much, but I don't want to take up the space. Oh, boy. All right. Here's what it is. Let's continue on. We're almost finished here. Okay, guys, I think that's it. Uh, we accomplished our mission, which was, of course, to find this beaker. And we got a pretty decent uh, bit of medical supplies, too. I have a few things I had to put in the this box back here. None of that stuff is absolutely critical, though. We don't need to really take it with us. This isn't worth anything. We would get some um, armor parts, which would actually be worth more. Um, so you know what? Maybe what we'll do is we'll leave the... We'll leave the splints and we'll take this and go ahead and scrap it. And uh, these will be worth uh, so, uh, quite a bit more. Uh, 132, as a matter of fact, than the gloves themselves were. And uh, not a bad haul, not a bad haul. We got um, almost two full stacks of normal bandages, a couple of big first aid kits, um, over a full stack of, of, uh, of normal bandages plus a bunch of blood bags and grain alcohols which we can use to make the big first aid kit when we eventually um you know find the schematic for that i usually do at some point during my playthroughs and so we're in pretty good shape we're in pretty damn good shape right now all right it is a horde day so the next order of business here is that we need to figure out um, where we're going to... You know what? Actually, I guess I can bring that stuff back. I'll just put it all in the bike. Uh, anyway, we need to figure out what, what we're going to do for the Horde Knight. So, let me go grab this other stuff and then start thinking about what's going to happen for that. Okay, so we're back at the prison here. I have a couple of, of loose ideas that I haven't completely thought all the way through. But, one idea is that we... We, f we repair, you know, the, the tower here. And we use this same setup again. We'll upgrade those to iron. Uh, but we'll also have a setup not only in this tower, but one in um, the other towers too. So that way, if it looks like this one's about ready to, you know, to bite the dust, we can run over uh, to the new tower and, you know, continue uh, holding up. So that's one idea. The other idea that I had was to actually make use of, you know, the bridges that are over there and take the bridges themselves out, as a matter of fact, but then make a, um, a wedge bridge so that the zombies will then, you know, try and get to us from and, you know, just, sh and then shoot them as they're coming to the bridge, and we'll get a hell of a lot of XP. It's gonna, I'd have to make quite a bit of ammo to get that to work, but I think we could, we could probably do that and mount an effective defense that way. Um, I would most likely get more XP doing it that way, because I'm gonna be able to shoot the zombies a little more effectively. The one problem that I had with this tower on uh, the first Horde Night is that they kept running in and out of this tower, and so I had a really hard time actually shooting them, so let's take a look at that as a possibility. Now we got, we have a sleeper there. I don't know what other sleepers are nearby. So I guess, uh, I guess we're gonna find out, aren't we? Let's get, let's get this out of the way. That made some noise, didn't it? All right, we got a dude there. Who else? There's someone inside the the prison. A 
What the hell? Are they in the cage or what are they doing? Can't quite tell what's going on there. I don't know why they wouldn't be coming around. Oh, you know what? I bet you they're in the cell. That's probably what's going on there. Okay, well, let's break this out then. Oh, he's just being stupid. Dumbass. Nurse Nancy. I heard somebody else over this way. Is that... Are they in a cell down below? Is that what's going on here? Huh, I don't know. Maybe they're outside. Anyway, okay, so... The idea here would be... That we would... Do it either on this side or that side again. Whoa, shit. I guess it would be... Oh, what did we just get there? Lead and brass from sinks and plumbing. Awesome. Okay, we'll take that. I think we also have the one where we get uh, brass from doors, so we need to start taking doors and sinks apart now. Uh, we could just use this one since, you know, it's already open. It doesn't really matter. I don't, I don't think what side we do it on. And so the idea would be that we would bust this bridge out here and then replace it, you know, with a wedge bridge. And um, that's probably all we would really need to do. Of course, I would have to bust out these stairs here, you know, and secure the upper floor. Um, but, you know, the rest of this building is all already reinforced concrete. Um, and then we would make, an, you know, a ramp or an easy pathway for them to get up to you know, up to this wall so they could try and get through to us here. I think we'll do that. That's not, I, I don't think that's going to, you know, take a, a ton of work on my part, you know, to get set up and ready to go. And so that's what what, what I think we'll do. Been cranking out uh, cement for, uh, for concrete. Uh, more concretes uh, going here. I made some uh, wet concrete blocks, which we're going to use to make our bridge. We got the Kim bench set up, but that's not currently doing anything. Um, I've been making ammo, so I got two stacks of 762s and, and a few more cooking up at the uh, at the trader. I got a bunch of nines cooking up at the trader because I've been working on uh, 762s and shotgun shells here, and I got a few Molotovs as well. I made the Iron Breaker mod for our auger, and I made the uh, tube extender mod for our shotgun. Okay, so if we have time, we'll come back and get the rest of the uh, that ammo, but we have to get moving. We are definitely, um, we're, we're not, I don't think we're behind, but we don't have, we don't have any time to spare though either. Okay, so let's sell this to him and we'll sell this to him for 381. I think that's all. I guess you're not so bad after all. All we need from him. Now, let's just grab some canned food from here in case we don't make it back. Uh, we'll get our coffee back to a full stack, and we'll buy an extra one and drink it. Um, well, I guess we don't need it right this second. Okay, so, looks like we're actually done in here, so that's good. So we have two full stacks of nines, um, and a little bit more going with the 762s. So I don't have any more mats with me right now to continue making in this workbench, but that's okay. I think we, we're, we're good on ammo, especially if we can get back and get the rest of that shotgun ammo, because I'm planning on probably using the shotgun quite a bit tonight. And it's probably going to be our main weapon. 762 is really more for oh shit moments. Um, and of course, you know, we'll have all the 9 mils that we can use in the pistol too. But we'll, we'll be more effective, I think, with the shotgun, just because of the fact that it is... I'm trying to think where are we at. Yeah, it's actually this side here, right? That we're going to do. Yeah. Uh, we'll be more effective with the with the shotgun just because we can get two first and three first with it whereas the nine mil not so much okay so the first thing we need to do is we need to make sure the zekers have an easy path up to us and probably the best way to do that is just to make a ramp for them um and we're gonna make that uh let's just make that out of wood uh let me see how do i want to do that well here let's go up there first
So this is the this is where we're gonna make our stand here. And I suppose the first thing we need to really we need to do, we should get the bridge taken care of first, because we need to let it cure so we can also upgrade it to reinforced and then let that cure. So let's get the bridge done first. And then we have to get those stairs busted out so they can't, you know, get at, get to us from over that direction. Uh, all right, so let's take this out. Okay, so now we want to go here, and we want to choose the uh, concrete wedge tip, and then we have to get this set up correctly. Uh, copy rotation. Yeah, we're probably just going to have to do an advanced thing here. That's what we want there. Okay. Um, we don't want to put it that close to the wall because they could actually get in the gap. So it's going to have to go over here. Which we might... We'll, we're probably going to have to clear those blocks out then too. Um, but that's okay. We can do that. All right. Now we need to flip this around the other way. Okay. So that gets our bridge in. Now we just need to wait for that to cure, and then we need to upgrade it to reinforce concrete. Um, we should probably also um, upgrade at least this this part to reinforce concrete as well. Ah, oh, gosh dang it. What? Oh, it needs to be frickin' uh, upgraded. I mean, uh, repaired to cobble before we can before we can upgrade it to uh, normal concrete. Where is my shovel? Okay, so I think at a minimum that's what we need to upgrade for that. Probably wouldn't hurt to actually do it down here too, just in case we get Zekers down here that are trying to take that part of the thing out, you know. Alright, next most important thing we need to do. How much concrete do I have on me? 275. Okay, yeah, that should be enough for the for the other upgrades that we need to do. Let's get um let's get back up here. And what I want to do is uh let's get these stairs out of here next. <laughs> 